Hey everybody, I got some bags to show you. What's up you guys, wanna talk about some business casual backpacks. I've got a bunch of them over here. Look, there's a lot, can you see? There's a bunch, I'm gonna walk you through each one of them. I don't know what's most important to you, whether it's style and aesthetics, like the actual look of it. For I know for me, that's it's a big deal. I mean, it might, you might not be able to tell by looking at me. But I really like when a bag fits, like suits me well, aesthetically. But then there's also the other question of like, does it have enough organization? Is it actually nice to use? Or are the materials kind of crappy? and our fingers know it every time we use it. When I want a good bag for me for business casual type stuff, all right? I want both. I want it to be the right I want it to be the right look. I want it to have the right organization. The truth is we don't have to pick one or the other these days. So let me show you a handful of business casual bags that you need to know about. You get a bag, you get a bag. First of all, this is the Breton or Breton. I like this thing a lot, okay? I did a whole video on it. Most of these bags that I'm mentioning here will have a whole video and I will link to them below at the time code that they show up on the screen because I'm a gentleman. Okay, lots of organization in here. Simple organization, but I found it to be so good in use. The real satisfying thing on this bag is the quality of the materials and the honesty of it. It's not not, not a bunch of fancy stuff, right? It's It just has a, a real earnestness to it, like a real, like, like solid materials vibe in the canvas, the leather, the way these leather handles are gonna break down over time is gonna be really nice. So if you're interested in this look, some of you are like, Bleh, and others of you are like, yay. You know, just follow your own heart. Follow your heart. This is the Breton. Let's get to the next one. Okay, we got two here. This is the Belroy Tokyo Tote Pack, all right? I like this. Some of you are gonna feel it's a little too casual, maybe not businessy enough, because it can get a little, a little like, I don't know, it's just playful. But the truth is it's quality, and it looks really good on. I mean, like I said, a little more playful, a little more like I'm a designer, I'm a creative director, maybe, than I'm like a sales manager. These straps go away, they come off and they go away, so you're in just tote mode. Some of you aren't into the tote. Some of you are. You know who you are. This guy. I love these handles. I love the materials. I love the the, the like burliness of this material, even though it just looks like a regular sort of fun tote. You've got two quick access pockets up here, both uh, vertical, and then everything inside has some solid organization as well. Check out the video on that one. The bag also comes, I mean, it's ba this is like that same bag, but as a uh, an over the shoulder bag, a messenger bag. By the way, great shoulder strap, little leather accent. You can choose to put it in the front or the back. I don't mind putting it in the back. So here I am ready for my meeting or I can pull this thing off, pull the strap off because um, it just clips on. And now I'm in like briefcase mode. What's great about this bag, both of these bags, I think they have a very playful aesthetic. I think they're very fun, but also just solid materials and organization. Inside of here, I mean, can you see all those little nooks and crannies in there? Two mesh pockets, which is a good kind of mesh. You should watch the video on this to see what kind of mesh I think about when I, what, what I think about when I think about that mesh. All right, maybe that's beyond the point. Two side pop pockets. You have a laptop, 15 inch laptop pocket. You have a tablet sleeve. And then you also have two front pockets out here and a pocket back here that's also, if you unzip this bottom thing, usable as your, um, over your luggage, you know, your luggage thing. What's interesting about this guy, you've got a nice little G hook for closing it up and it's, and honestly moves, it goes, it's in and out really simple and easy. So for any of you thinking about a satchel, more of an over the shoulder vibe, this is a great way to go. It definitely has more of like a totey, almost grocery bag vibe. I mean that in a good way, I don't know. You're probably gonna hear that in a bad way, aren't you? The truth is both these bags are really, really well crafted and really well designed. Design, so thank you for Bellroy for making great shit. Let's get into the next bag. Okay, check this guy out. This is from Question or Question. Now, it's a little bit Eddie Murphy raw when there's nothing in it because it's a little shiny. It comes in a lot of fun colors. Speaking of which, look at the inside material. That's fun, right? But there's a lot of zippers. There's actually, there's, I want, 
I don't want you to think there's a lot of zippers because once you get used to this bag, you realize there's something interesting going on. There's two zippers on the front, okay? You close those up and you can either, you can either open like just the back one because that's where I can reach in and I can get my laptop. I can get access to the whole bag. It's only occasionally that I need to see this. This is one of the little things that I actually like about this bag. Just a little, do you see this thing? It's a little one of those twists, those old school, like you see them on like boat covers and shit like that. I just like that. Um, and then if you really need to get access, you could open it up both sides and even down the front here. And now you can really open this thing and get inside. What I love about question bags is that they're really, really like, excellent designers at questions. So they think about a lot of stuff, but not just that they're good designers. I like the style. I like the taste that they have in design. It's very human. It's very humane. Not very, like it's not, it's not like playing by somebody else's game. It's just their own game, which I find I play a similar game. So simple organization. You've got a zipper here inside. So that means you've got like a way to get into a, a potentially a segmented group of your gear, which is up here against in this panel instead of in like floating in the main compartment. You've also got a quick access pocket, which is a little bit of a bummer that it's behind these straps. You won't use it quite as much, but what's great about that keys or anything that you're not gonna need for the whole day can go there. And then when you need them, you just get in there. There's also this little place, which is a place you can put these, um, these straps. You can hide them away back there. Another thing I love about Question is the fact that they use really high quality materials like this thing. Oh, I should I should include this guy in my uh, business bag thing, but it, most of you aren't gonna want it for business. The truth is this is awesome. This is made out of a banana, like not an edible banana tree uh, fiber, but it's made from fibers from a banana and it's just a really unique material, simple bag. Surprisingly, like, you see how simple it looks? There's actually quite a bit of organization and lots of stuff going on. But again, just question simplicity in that. Um, this material is sensational and just interesting. They have a whole page on it. I'll link to it below. It tells a great story. This material is uh, organic cotton that then they have a, uh, some sort of P, like some sort of coating on it that makes it water resistant, which is nice. Most of the time I find I'm grabbing these handles and I'm walking around with this thing. These handles can actually come off and go up here so you're in like actual briefcase mode. But I'll be honest, I leave my straps on, I throw it over one, one side. It's businessy enough, it's business casual, okay? If you want like, you know, straight lines and like leather that like rake, like zippers that rake your hands every time that you reach into some fancy nice thing, then you know, that's on you. A couple here from State Bags, okay? State is interesting because their bags aren't that, that expensive. This one uh, is a little bit higher quality over here. I'll put links to both of these below. This is the gray one and this is the green one. I can't remember, I can't remember their names. What I love about this one is this thing is like actually gorgeous for like, for like really low key low key vibes. It has a kind of a burly strap. I think this is the thing that gets sort of weird. It's almost like, oh wait, I thought you were working here. I didn't know you were just like a dude hiking by the river on your way by. But everything else about the bag, and I don't actually really mind it that much because I like that it chunks it up. It makes it a little more, you know, artillery or something like that. But lots of actual organization on these bags. Two panels, one front panel full of organization, then the back panel, which is all of my space and my laptop compartment and surprising amount of capacity in these. Um, lots of lots of little organization bits, which they do well. I'm not a huge fan of this liner material. Uh, I'd like things a little more burly, but this is surprisingly nice and it won't get ratty as easy as, as some other cheaper nylons. Then over here, you've got a buckle. This is obviously a little more suit and tie, a little more done up for business. Two pockets on the front here, which is nice. Then you have your main compartment here where you've got the same kind of panel. Lots of organization, some mesh up here on the bottom, and then a zipper in the back, which is where you'll have your laptop and also some other like, you know, business paper type stuff, man, and then maybe your tablet. There's a mesh zipper pocket as well. But these state bags, they're designed, they're designed well. And I, I, my hunch is that they're not like, they do like a, they do like a, a, uh, some, 
B Corp type stuff as well, where they like you buy a bag and then they give a bag to someone in the US in need. Um, so check out these bags if you're interested. My one drawback on these is the straps feel lame. They just feel state. I don't like the way these feel. This feels like like this feels really solid and good and interesting and water resistant and all this. And this just feels like meh, meh. like any bag you grab, any cheap bag you grab in like Disneyland or like, like in the stores in Disneyland or like Walmart or something like that. Now that doesn't affect how it actually carries. I just mean tactilely, this one's a little bit better. Just tactilely, it's not my favorite. It's just like not a very quality foam in there. Okay, but for the price, it's gonna be hard to find stuff that looks, you know, fan the thing is, is this, these are probably more popular bags. So you're gonna see people with this bag. If you want something that stands out a little more, more of the other bags on the list. Okay, before we get a little bit fancier, we're gonna get a little more rugged. All right, hold on. I'll tell you about this one in a second. This is from Nutsack. It's actually the name of the company is Nutsack because they're nuts for making bags in America instead of doing it overseas where you can save a fortune. Handmade American kind of stuff over here, right? Really robust, nice wax canvas. This feels this, this feels really good. It may be a little too oily for some. If you really don't like things that are wax, if you love wax canvas things, you're gonna like this. If you love leather, especially burly thick leather, you're going to like this, okay? Now, it's overall a fairly simple bag. The reason why I pull it out and include it here is just because some of these materials, bags with these kinds of materials can actually fit with like a dressed up, like a more of a Nordstrom Racky type of shirt, you know? I know a lot of you out there are shopping at Nordstrom Rack. It's fine. Get what you gotta get, man. Get it going. I know a lot of you are like suit and tie. You, I don't think you can do this with the suit and tie that much, right? You only have the one handle which with a nice leather bit. Um, the, the straps are a bit burly. It's good because they're comfortable. So if you light load this thing down, I don't want to run your ear off because a lot of people probably don't feel like this is suitable for them for work. But just to know that this is out there, link to it below. Also one that people are going to be like not suitable for my work. But I find that sometimes a very simple outdoorsy type of bag, as long as it's small enough like this, Topo just has this fucking market corner. Just such a sick, slick, simple look, made with great materials, actually solid organization inside. I find that bags like this um, can go well with a, with a more dressed up look, depending on what you're like, right? So it's kind of out of place here, I get it, but man, for some of you who are watching, like this thing is sick because one of my favorite bags of all time is the Clutterworks Summit. It's just an awesome bag. This reminds me of that. It's just a simple, simple backpack. Great straps, lots of um, interesting, like totally doable organization in here. You see how we've got a laptop pocket. We've got a zipper thing with some organization under there. We've got some pouches, very simple, but then quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of space and it's a taller bag too. So it's got some verticality there, but man, I just, I don't know. I like bags like this when I dress up too. Like not, I'm not wearing suits with this again. So your mileage may vary both these links below. Let's get into a little bit of fancy, like a tiny bit of fancy. All right, now these ones are from Vessel. Have you heard of Vessel? They're somewhere sort of similar to State. They do a, they buy a bag and they give one away to somebody in need. They're not like the highest quality materials that you've ever seen. They're they're mostly affordable businessy bags, right? So so perfect for this. I tend to opt for companies like uh, Waterfield. I'll put a link to them below, um, where things are a little bit more expensive but the materials are nicer. But at Waterfield, you're not getting as sleek of a design, I don't think. A little more of a, uh, these are a little, these are just a little younger in aesthetic. This, th the thing that's interesting about this one is this is like all a thick, rich kind of leather material. It feels really solid. I'm not even sure what the deal is with this. I'll put a link to this, obviously, at the description below. You've got this interesting bottom pocket here, which actually, can't, you can choose to use it or not. It eats into the capacity on the inside of the bag, or you can choose to have the, the capacity in the inside of your bag, right? That's kind of interesting. I don't love that the zipper goes all the way around because it makes it kind of funky to, to get to where I want to on there. Quick access pocket here. Then we have our, let's see, the back is this beautiful laptop compartment, which, which has just got a just cushy as a motherfucker. God damn. 
Ah, oh, it's so soft and supple. You've also got a couple pouches in there, like this is these pouches up at the top, elastic, so you could probably fit. You might be able to squeeze in a MacBook power brick in there. That would be slick. So you got your laptop and your thing right there. But then it's a pocket down here, so you can throw your tablet. Um, the the laptop sleeve is pulled just slightly off the bottom of the bag. There's a little secret compartment back here for, you know, what are your like little secret guys? What are you keeping secret, keep it safe? Probably glasses for me would go right in there. Then you have the main capacity, uh, main compartment here, which has another laptop guy uh, or place for your papers if you're bringing your business papers to work. Then uh, you actually have two pockets up here. One of them, smaller, that's probably where my glasses go because it has that soft, cushy, more of that fucking velour in there, whatever that is. Then, same thing here, more velour. What? I want to swim in it. There's a couple pouches right here as well for you to throw your stuff, and you can see it's like a serial number and like, this is vessel we make things, this is an important thing, okay? So, kind of, they're paying attention to quality. It feels good, the liner's nice. Um, this leather surprisingly feels good, so if any of you are interested in this look, if this look like nails you, you're like, fuck, that crushes it. I love that, that's all I need. Then, like, you know, really look into this thing because it's got a lot of organization and it's pretty solid. I'll put a link below. There's also this one, which is canvas. Um, these straps are detachable and they zip away into a little pouch down here. Our, uh, our fake leather, our, our pleather stuff that we're using down here is uh, not my favorite feel. I wonder if that other one is fake leather. I'll put it in, went below the link if it's leather or not. Um, but you can see, you know, good from far, but not that, not that good close up, but you don't really touch this. This is just for, for, you know, the butt of the bag. You got a quick access right here, which is actually kind of deep. You've got a, um, yeah, like again, not my favorite in terms of feel. Like I would rather go for Bellroy in this regard. I would rather go for the Baron Fig. I'll link to that at this time. Um, that's not a tote, but you know, this is a this is obviously a, a tote pack. Um, lots of capacity though. The reason why I'm saying like I would go for something else is just because the honestly this fake leather on the on the handle is 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 not what I want to pick up every day. I mean, if this thing's really affordable, then it's a good way to cheat and fake it and just get a quickie for right now. I'll put that, there's a chance that this is really affordable. But it has a really nice liner. Um, not really nice, but it feels quite nice. Zippered pocket inside, and then some organize pouches all along the sides as well as a laptop compartment here. I think all of these are 15 inch laptops. Um, and some capacity, you know? So you get a good looking, Good looking, you know, rich, regular old, earthy materials kind of vibe from this guy. So, thanks Vessel. Okay, you wanna talk about some real, <laughs> real rich fucking quality vibe? Check this thing out. This is Chelon or Chelon or Chamon. It's Chelon. I don't know why I did all of that. It's ridiculous. The leather on this thing is, um, uh, the, I mean, the, the, Boss little logo. There is a, there's a quality to this. There's a, like, this has a life. Like <laughs> this thing, this is, okay, my worry about this bag for most of you is, it's basically, here's your one little pocket, okay? And getting in and out of that is not easy because the, these, these zippers are teeth. They just, they get, so you wanna, here's what you wanna do. You wanna have like one, or two things in there. Just simple. You know your finger, you don't need to look. Your fingers can tell what of the two things. So my glasses and then my Sennheiser Momentum in ear earbuds. I'll put a link to both of those there. Okay, now it, that's simple and nice. What's great about that is I can get those, I can reach in, I can get that. I don't have to be looking necessarily. I can just kind of get it out. If you have a bunch of shit in here and you're looking for it, you're sad. It's gonna be sad. It's gonna feel sad in your heart. You're gonna feel it in your body. Your body's gonna tell you that you have some sadness going on. But if you can keep that minimal, you're gonna be, you're gonna be stoked. Because what you do then is you go for pouches inside of here, right? So you get some organization pouches. You have those in there. There's some great ones. Like Waterfield makes really classy, nice pouches. Um, I'll put a link 
uh, at the description right now to my favorite pouches. And I'll also include a link to a video I did on a bunch of pouches. I think having pouches helps you accessorize, organize whatever bag you're carrying. Okay, so you throw your pouches in there and your laptop. Let me show you inside here. You've got a la laptop guy at the back with a nice little leather uh, like lip on it. And then you've got one zippered pocket right here. So this thing is totally simple, right? This pocket's, what would I put in here? I, I, I mean, this is like, this is probably my tech shit. Like all those dongles and cables and random stuff I'd probably put there. If I'm not just throwing that all into a pouch because it's nice, this, <laughs> there's something really nice about this thing. There's something tangible about the quality of this material. Like you can feel it. And obviously with suits, this would look great. It's a small, cute little daily rambler and it's gonna patina Medina over time. Like I'm, I'm scared of like bending it because as you bend it, it, ch it like the way that this thing breaks in, it will literally be one of a kind. Um, also, these little guys help it to stand up uh, almost all the time, which is great. There are water bottle pockets here, which is really it's for a, it's for a small water bottle or it's for a um, your umbrella because New York. My big water bottle just barely fits in there but that'll eat away at the capacity inside the bag. So I would end up putting it inside because Camelback Shoot is the best water bottle in the world. I know it's not very business casual to bring around a water bottle, but uh, when you're traveling a lot like I am, you don't know when the next potable water is gonna be. And mm, that's all I need to say about that. It's a great, great, great water bottle. And these, this bag, so my, my thing on this, so simple, it's almost like, I, I shouldn't even mention it. So quality, I don't care how simple it is. The suppleness, the feel of this, if you are not vegan, and if you want a bag that's gonna last you, I mean, this is a 20 year bag. You can get a lot out of this. You can get a lot out of this, right? So that's an interesting thought. Over here, we have a, a little guy from Track. Track, they're out in Scotland. Sorry, Alexander. He's always like, yeah, we love it when you do the Shrek voice. We love it. It's so fun, but they're out in Scotland. Very simple backpack, okay? I absolutely love this thing. Simple zipper here, water sealed zip. This is wax canvas, but it's a dry wax, so it's not actually oily. Um, then inside of here, you just got, it's just one flat big pocket, simple minimal branding. I love this olive. Uh, then inside a small capacity, but more than you think it is. There's a laptop compartment. There's two simple pouches right here. That's it. The rest is your shit. But because it's kind of old worldy, it's kind of heritagey. I find that it fits in when I'm dressed up a little bit more, it's small. So that might look funky on a lot of bigger frames and it might look perfect on some of you smaller frames. So uh, check out this one from Trek. Two more for you, then we're done. Okay, so these are not necessarily businessy bags, but I thought I'd include them because we're talking about daily carry. We're looking for good daily carry. A lot of people are asking about this douchebag bag. Its name is douchebag. Full stop. Actually, a pretty solid bag. Simple materials, not quite as quality as, I, as I'd like or as the hype kind of made me believe, but some interesting organization. I wanna do a full review on this when I get connected with these guys as, a, as an affiliate, but here's the deal. Um, interesting option, I'll link to this below so you can check it out because it's just all black, small, and it says douchebag on it. Full stop. Then there is the Brown Buffalo Conceal, which is just one of my favorite, my favorite daily carry bags. It is uh, handmade in, in LA area by a guy who's like a bag veteran. So simple, just very simple. Like I, this is just a black on black chill aesthetic. I think you could even ask for custom colors and comes in other stuff. A little more of a burly sort of regular backpack vibe, but it's clean, okay? And what I love so much about it is we've got lots of organization and it's just burly. This is the equivalent of that leather bag that from Shalone and Shamon in ballistic nylon, okay? In in material, in this Cordura material that is just really, really going to last a long time. 
a uh, big zipper on the front for some organization. Uh, nothing inter internal to that one. Then inside of here, you have a lot of, uh, of just, I don't know, these are like water bottle things. You can figure out fun stuff to do that. There's also, some of the bags have a removable uh, guy like this. I leave mine just in and uh, that's where my laptop goes. I love this bag personally because for daily carry, for work and office stuff, I need something tight, I need something small. Typically, I want it to be kind of classy and kind of cool. And there's nothing not cool about the brown buffalo, at least right now. So, that's a bunch of bags for business casual stuff. Did you find one you liked? Here's the deal, I've got a huge page that's just for this just for this over at matterful.co slash business because finding a right business backpack actually matters. <laughs> no bullshit. Full stop. Douchebag. So matterful.co slash business. While you're there, get on the email list because we do giveaways working with companies. A lot of the companies that I mentioned here will probably be involved in our giveaways over time and uh, and they're big. We like, we like giving away a lot of stuff. The companies love giving their shit away and getting the publicity and stuff. So get on the email list at matterful.co. Okay, was this helpful for you? You got what you need? You feeling uh, juiced up? You want to take it to the next level? First of all, you can subscribe here, but let's go to the next level in our relationship. Come on to... Uh, Instagram, say what's up, shout out. Let me know what you're carrying. Uh, let me know what your mom's up to. Okay, y'all, thanks for watching. Find care, take care, serve hard, dig in. Good luck with whatever work you're doing. Hope you find some work that you can get passionate about, that you are passionate about, you care about, that it matters. I know that that's a fucking challenge to do these days. And uh, I salute you, senorita y senor. Um, and if you need help uh, starting your own business, you can always go to workwithchase.com. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.